Hello, you beautiful lot. Welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. Now, I had a little bit of bad news last night. So I've come over to Rushton Station, where Rushton Heritage Transport are, because last night they had a huge fire on one of the carriages just at the top. Now, uh, I've been getting loads of comments come through on the channel about a group of youths going around Rushton causing absolute mayhem. And to be fair, the police around here aren't doing anything about it. There are things going on around here and it's it's quite shocking. It makes me think when it comes around to the summer holidays, things are going to get a lot worse. So um, I'm going to grab a high vis. I've got the lovely Ryan with me as well. Mm. And we've been invited to just take a little walk up the line and have a look at the carriage. Um, and also send up the drone because this is private land. They're giving me permission. So. Uh, yeah, we'll get our uh, high vises on. And we'll take a little walk up the Go line. for it. You, you've been on my life before, you know. Of course. Sleepers, you know, like yeah, the idea is not to talk, uh, walk on the sleepers. <laughs> so. She getting on. Guys here are doing a very good job on it. Brilliant! Look at that. Yeah, it's nut and bolt restoration, so it's going to be really good. For that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Obviously, you can see that that's got wood on the glass. Oh, okay. That's to stop the vandalism. Yeah. Again. So it's a, a, a good idea, mate. Yeah. Oh. Awful. Edmondson. <laughs> yeah, but it's the only steam train I remember being here in steam, to be fair. One day, one day. And the Pink Panther. Yep. Hell of a workhorse. It's very strange, it's like driving a car without a steering wheel. Yeah. Pedals. Is it? Clutching, braking, throttle, oh. pedals. It's the other part of Edmondson. Why do they do this? It's a food here. Yeah. yeah. That's a new guy that we've got a couple of hours ago now. We had a little police tackle there because they, they did the investigation this morning in the fire service. Yeah. Um, but they've just taken that one out. The dogs are there. Oh, and the dogs? Yeah. Yeah, well, something needs to happen here. Because nothing's really getting done. No, no. Uh, and it's happening all over Rushton. It's not just the railway that's getting it. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. So my big question is, is what are the police going to do about it? Uh, you, I mean, they've been pointed out. That they were close to the scene. They weren't apprehended and questioned. It's absolute balmy. The good thing about this is that it's still fairly movable. The handbrake's still on it and all that stuff. Right, okay, so it, you can get it off site. Oh, right, okay. Um, I did hear it belonged to somebody else, though. Is that right? Bit of a blessing in disguise. And go on that side, it looks a lot better. Yeah, it's a bit safer. Oh wow. Oh dear. Oh my days. 
Yeah, if you can send it over purple vision or something, mate, brilliant. In fact, I think I've got a bit of drone footage with it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we did this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. You can imagine, I mean, that was filled with, there was a tiny little corridor. Those are all compartments. Yeah. You know, the proper compartments, it wasn't an open coach. And then the luggage rack and all that down there. Yeah, it's just... It's just empty now. I mean, I was staggered because That's... it was so full of stuff as well. It's awful. It's just vanished, you know. It's crazy what fire can actually do. What? Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, it would have been compartments, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm with you. You can see the... And, and the corridor, see. yeah, you can see... Oh, no. That is our history gone up because of kids doing what they do. They get curious and they think they can do this and that and they don't think of the consequences of it. That is our history. And I don't know if you know, but carriages all over the country in 1962 and onwards went for a massive cold. A lot of them have been scrapped. So the ones that we only have are on the heritage railway lines and kids are destroying them. And I'm sorry to say it, but because the police are not doing their jobs, they'd rather come and arrest you for your council tax or for some corporate owing money to whatever. So, come on, guys. You should be protecting our history. But that's awful. This has actually come away here. Look at that. Literally just come straight away. Let's break. Ah, I see what you mean, the brake's still there. No way. I think it was... Oh, it must have been for a long time. When this was obviously normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, the inside, there's, I think it was further up there. You can see where they tried to start a fire. Because there was just black stuff all over the inside of the coach. Ah, uh, okay. And they tried to start a little fire, but... The problem is that they'd just come over and they used to come in and just sit in the, in the luggage compartment and all that and just sort of... I mean, even if they did cut... I mean, we think that they come down by the side of the bridge. I mean, that's, it's only speculation, but you've got the gates there. They can't even get through the gates. Well, it's crazy because I, come, I came down here two or three weeks ago and got rang by somebody. There's some kids up here. I walked up um, and from about there, it took them 30 seconds to when I got up here to climb over the fence and Ooh. over the gate and then they'd already been walking off by that point because they'd obviously seen me. So um, th these are re-offending culprits? That's absolutely yeah. awful. Right, okay. You can see where even some of the metal started to melt Oh, well. yeah, just look. Just hit a certain idea. temperature. But then it's really secluded in here. So when the fire brigade turned up, they, they struggled to actually put the fire out. There's nowhere to get in. I think they had to come in by the path, did you say? Just yeah, up here? Up there, yeah. yeah, so yeah, but absolutely madness. Right, there's one more last thing to do and that's to get the drone up and, and show all this, what it looks like now, but that's disgusting, disgusting.
Thank you.